Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a like up. 90 Day Fiance, 8 Signs Jasmine Pineda and Gino Palazzolo's Marriage Won't Last. Jasmine Pineda and Gino Palazzolo's relationship has too many red flags. They may get married on 90 Day Fiancé, but won't stay together for long. Jasmine Pineda and Gino Palazzolo, from 90 Day Fiancé Season 10, have reportedly tied the knot, but their marriage likely won't last long. The 36-year-old from Panama and the 52-year-old Canton, Ohio, resident met on a sugar baby website in 2020. While they weren't looking for a serious relationship, things changed and they fell in love. In 2021, Jasmine and Gino starred in 90 Day Fianza. Before the 90 Days Season 5 to showcase their unexpected relationship journey, they pursued each other and got engaged despite red flags in their relationship, like Gino's insensitivity and Jasmine's relentless jealousy. Jasmine and Gino returned to the franchise for 90 Day Fianza before the 90 Days Season 6. They decided to take their relationship to the next level and began their K-1 visa process while dealing with other relationship issues. Jasmine also got an apartment in the same building as her ex-boyfriend. She crossed the line by claiming that she cheated on Gino with her ex. When Gino broke up with her, Jasmine realized she made a mistake and immediately apologized, leading to their reconciliation. The couple returned for 90 Day Fiancé season 10 a few months later. The two had tied the knot sometime in mid-2023. Jasmine Pineda and Gino Palazzolo don't respect each other. Even though Jasmine and Gino are reportedly married, they will probably break up soon. The first reason their relationship won't last is that they don't respect each other. A sense of value and admiration for your partner is important in any relationship. However, Jasmine and Gino are disrespectful, as proven by their actions over the last three years. They yell at each other during minor arguments and don't communicate well. They do things to hurt each other purposefully, like the time Gino sent Jasmine's nude pictures to his ex, or when Jasmine lied about cheating on Gino to get back at him. Jasmine Pineda doesn't like Gino Palazzolo's family. A family bond is another thing that's very important to maintain a healthy marriage. If someone doesn't have a good relationship with their significant other's parents, siblings, friends, and relatives, it becomes very hard for them to connect or build something meaningful. In the case of the 90 Day Fiancé Season 10 couple, Gino is still pretty close with Jasmine's sisters. However, Jasmine is unwilling to care for her in-laws and has previously said she doesn't want them at the wedding. As bad of demand as it is, Jasmine is certainly out of the line for not putting effort into getting to know Gino's family. Jasmine Pineda hates living in Michigan. One of the most common reasons why Jasmine and Gino's marriage won't last is the Michigan weather. While Michigan is nice in the summer, the temperature there can drop below zero during the winter months, causing a major inconvenience to people who aren't used to it. Jasmine has lived in Panama and is used to the tropical environment. She won't survive the cold for long, which is something she is aware of. The weather was her first complaint when Jasmine landed in the United States. She compared Michigan to hell and later made fun of how empty it was comparing it to her tropical paradise, Panama. Thanks for watching.